Hello and welcome back to Competitive Realism. We're back with another episode. It's the big day. We're in the second quarter of summer. So yeah, we've got the fortlift ready with the grape on it. Kyle went home last night because of this COVID thing. Don't stay in the same houses. Like we know each other. We know each other doesn't have. We know we don't have COVID, but just for safety. And if people comment on the videos and stuff. So he went home last night. He's on his way back. He left the trailer here because there's no point taking it back. We've got. This is all we saw last day. We brought the. I went and picked up the forest forager this morning. I was set off at about seven this morning, and I brought it back. So Kyle is just yep. Here he comes. Kyle won't have seen the forager yet, so he'll probably stop like right here and have a look at it. Cost me about two thousand pound a day. This is pretty. Easy. All right, Kyle. All right, jeez, looks like a bit of a beast. Yeah, they recommended this one because the weird one doesn't have the header we were looking for. That's be interesting if I ever get trailer. Yeah, I'm gonna get this started up. Yeah, get it fired up. Well, I don't know. Put the pipe out. I just need to get used to it. If you know what I mean. Yeah, just back out of the control. Um, I don't know where you want me to go. Sorry for that uh, GoPro blackout there. Hit the wrong button. Do you want me to drive behind you or like? Eh, uh, for the first way? load, I think behind me, Kyle. Uh, okay. If it's running now, anyway, is it cutting the alfalfa though? Yeah, if it's cutting the alfalfa, holy moly. See, what uh, happens is, see, as soon as you cut the alfalfa, you need to get the pl field plowed over. Yeah, here, and um, what? Pet him up at the end. Uh, this one right here. Oh. The, the one out in the grass fields for grass. Yeah. See, you see this wall, one's walls are thicker. Yeah. Because I got the inspect, because the farm insurance guy was like, he, he came out and was like, you have to build an pit if you want to do double grass. And I was like, no, why can't I just build an pit for alfalfa? And I was like, no, you have to use this pit because it's got thicker walls because alfalfa's got better, uh, more el ethylene in it. Ah, uh, it's got the better drain. Yeah. Way better for you, Pike. It'd be fun. Right, hold on. I'm gonna have to really slow the camera. I'm talking about his keyboard. Keyboard. Yeah, you have your keyboard. Right, there we go. Oh, it's something. Oh, the alpha was looking decent. Is it still going in? Yep. I tell you now, you're gonna be so glad you put your hanging. What? Because there's not a hell of a lot going into the trailer room. What do you mean, got what? Um, it's going into the trailer, but I'm glad you fertilized the other field. Yeah. I mean, I know it's the hell of a trailer room. Is the yellow right or is it really bad? Really bad. Is it? Well, I call it really bad. What, what percentage are you at? Nine. Yeah, it's just because I'm not fertilised this field. I really, literally, you're going in the first one. Like, the other field's fertilised two stages, this isn't even fertilised one stage. If you know what I mean, girl. This isn't even for like one stage. There's some young stuff on the outside, which I'm just harvesting as well, if you know what I mean. Might as well. Alright, if you overtake me so I can reverse back here a wee bit. Right, what percentage are you at now? 21. What? 21. That's alright. Yeah, it's going to be alright. It's going to be an alright yield, but the other field is bigger and it's also been fertilised twice as more. Twice as much. I 
Uh, by the way, if you're picking me up on the CB, all right. Tomorrow, I'm gonna come and um, knock down those buildings for you. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Uh, well, that's quite hard to get that done. Yeah, basically, I won't be able to film knocking them down because I can't really run a forklift and film at the same time. No, no, that's fine. So I'll probably film just carting away the rubbish and all that. What do you want done with all that rubbish from anyway? Oh no. Uh, maybe can we spread it out on the road or something just to make the road nice and wide? Will it be crushed enough for that? Mm, don't think it'll be in quite big chunks. Oh no, then <laughs> I'll maybe take it to a dump or something. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get a car and do a dump. Mm. I've got this. Yeah, the crushes concrete for making roads and stuff. Friend that crushes concrete, so you got a big concrete crusher thing? Oh, yeah, I've seen them on the uh, telly. Yeah. I'll probably just get a little forward to see if you. Yeah. I'll just keep it up with it. Crushes concrete. Mm. Ah, this is working well, actually. What percentage? No, yeah, just to get me plenty of room to turn, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm plenty of room to turn for us to the last trip. I like the purple flowers in it though, that's nice. Yeah. How uh, full are you now? 44%. Hmm. But this is the trailer, and this is massive. Yeah, it's got quite high capacity, that one. Turn this corner is way too tight. Basically, I was asking um, the local like salesman about the alfalfa. He says basically you have to leave it for like a couple of days before you can plow it. Because you need to wait till all the roots die off so it doesn't grow back. I well, no, I thought it grew back if you wanted it back. Yeah, yeah, you can grow it, but I don't really want it back. I want to put a different crop in here next year. Uh -huh. So I what, think are you gonna do any alfalfa next year? Yeah, I might do I'm looking at getting another field for myself if you know what I mean. Oh. Just notice the problem in the settings there. It's all for the pipe and all for the HUD. Uh, I see. <laughs> That's right. a, just a slight issue. Here, so sorry if my thing. sorry if my uh, PDA settings were on the screen there for quite a bit of that. Okay, both of this are in the same just go up and down. Okie dokie. Go up and down each side and like, you know, front. Yeah. Because if it's already with you, I might plant some, um, mm. barley or oats in here next year, and then you could harvest them for me. Or we can do a whole crop harvest, so yeah. Yeah, but I really want, like, the straw, that's the problem. Well, I'll buy my straw off of you, but if you know what I mean, I would need like a, a supply of... Because what you do is you basically plant crops in spring, and then once you harvest your crops, you plant them in autumn. Like, you plant crops in autumn as well. Do you want me to go up the other side? Yeah, I'll go up this side. Are you going to plant crops in autumn? I'm going to let you have a constant supply of straw in the if you don't want to, I would have so much straw for you. Well, right, yeah. But, yeah, what was I going to say? Are you going to plant, like, crops in the autumn as well? So you have, like, a constant supply of, like, oats and stuff. Because you can plant crops in autumn, it's pretty decent. But, the first year that I buy the straw for you, I won't be able to pay you dung, because I won't have any. Yeah, that's no, um, yes, fine. Yeah, yeah. We'll just figure out a operation, I'll pay. How full are you now? Oh, 72. That is a big trailer, though.
This this far harvest forage harvester goes actually really quickly. Which is nice. I'm gonna quickly look at my PDA if that's alright. No, I've been looking at my PDA, my other field isn't ready to harvest yet. It's quite annoying, but it, I'll make sure to fertilize this. this it's just because um, I planted this field too late, so I had to put up alpha in it, if you know what I mean. Like, I didn't really want to, but I'll probably put like wheat or barley in there next year or something. You got any crop recommendations? What have you put in? I feel the sh wheat, I think. I feel the canola and I feel of soybeans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can get all the straw from the field. Right. Uh, I don't know. Do I have straw? I could maybe make some soil straw. He no could, but mm. it won't be as good. Yeah, I'll just take your wheat straw if you've planted any. We are barley straw, we could maybe oat straw as well. I'll take it's quite nice. Decent. 33 tons. Pretty decent, actually. If you know what I mean. Sorry it wasn't a longer harvest, but... Can't really do anything about that, eh? Oh, that looks good. It looks good enough, so. Yeah, there'll be more. I'm just going to leave it here, because they say you set it before you, like, compact it. So I'll leave it here till the other stuff's ready, I think. Or I might, what I might do is, is I might get the farm insurance guy out again because I, because the, the pet he was looking at to put up, this is a different one. So he might say, yeah, I can put some alfalfa in here. And then I can just put the alfalfa, like the other field of alfalfa in there. But I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. Are you going to take that back to your farm or what are you going to do? I'd be as well too because the other field's closer to me. Yes, it is, so... Well, what are you doing for the rest of the Um, I don't... Probably might bring all the equipment up to your, um, like, demolition site. Yeah. Well, would you want to come and look at the job first? Yeah, I'll... Let me... Can I... I might just... Yeah, I, I'll... Yeah, I'll come look at the job. If, can I hop in with you? Yeah, you should be able to. There we go. Right, let's go. <laughs> okay. That's okay. tight. What we'll do is I'll call the... Uh, Kyle knows what I mean by this. I'll call the guy um, about the forager and he can come get it. You know what I mean, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tiny. That shed I'm going to fill with straw when I get your straw. Uh, hold on, I'm just going to turn the yard. I can't get it. So. Um, yeah, no, that, that's fine. I can't look at the job and then if you run me back. Hey, could you run me back in this tractor and then you can bring up one of the pieces of kit I'll need? Because cause I'll bring up the forklift and the loader. If you bring up, I could do a plow if you know what I mean, Kyle. Oh, uh, don't really bring the cloud in. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, this is a big trailer on the back. Hey. Yeah. 
So the, the uh, silage side is just bolt on top of the green sides, basically? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you have to get a Pacific silage side though, because the extra green bit of board I've got at the front. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. What do you think of this, Randy? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I've never actually been in this one. Yeah, I've been in the Massey, and I've been in the Case, and I've been in the John Deere. But I've never been in this one. It's a nice place for a fire extinguisher up there. Yeah, it's a yeah. nice track to this. Oh, it's quite nice in the two, actually. Mm, yeah, it's a nice mod, this. Uh, nice uh, track to this. You said the wrong word. Yeah, it's a nice track to this. Box yeah, didn't you? My New Holland is a 50k box in it. My John Deere is a 40k. My Stair has a 40k, and then the wee John Deere that never goes on the road, it has a 30k. No, yeah, 30k box. I don't know what small case is about, I guess I bought it in the job used to fill it. Yeah. But also, the small case will be sitting around for fun. You sell it all? I don't sell it, there's no point in having it as well, something else. That's the job here, so for all this we're going to do, I'm usually get all the Yeah. I might plant some sugar beet. I might. I might plant some sugar beet, but I'm not sure. I'll see. Well, nah, I'll probably won't. I'll see. I'll just see about planting sugar beet, to be honest with you. Next year, I'm going to have one field of soybeans and two field of wheat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if you buy an arable field, you can get more, if you know what I mean. Well, man, I have two fields of soybeans. I need to see. What do you think about money in the bank? Yeah. I can't remember what I've got in the bank, but when I get some of my stuff sold, I'll, I'll get some decent money in. But they get good money in when they sell the case off. Uh, I might sell my steer. I'll see. Really do much. No. Well, I was like, oh, I need to buy another tractor, but now the steer doesn't have the loader on it. Yeah, so you bought four plus. There's not really much point in it. I'll see. But if. Like, I'll probably sell it. There's a high chance that I'll sell it. Are you going to take me out in your gator to see this job? Yeah, okay. Right, where are we going to put this trailer? Um, oh, shit. It's so How much did you get for your Bailey trailer? A That's pretty decent. Yeah, I'm probably going to sell my stay off, probably. Yeah, I'll probably tell him to stay off. I'm gonna give the guy a call, call about the forager kill. Huh? Oh yeah, uh, mate, you, yeah, I'm just calling about the forager. I'm just in my friend's tractor. You wouldn't mind coming to my farm and just picking up, because I'm done with it. Yeah, okay, okay. Huh? Yeah, so they're coming to pick it up soon, Kyle. They're coming to pick it up soon. Yeah, your grass field? Yeah, is this your wheat field? Yeah, it is. Your wheat field's fairly growing. Okay, is this the job? Oh, I Hmm. Hmm. Ah, just doing something real quick. Got to do some 
business? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna have a look at this job. Right, so if we rip down these walls and then we get the plow and we plow, I'll well, smooth this all out first. Then we get the plow, plow from here, diagonally down here and up here. Kyle should get this whole corner of his field back if we ripped out these sheds. Hmm. Now I say the estimate price of the job was 6,000. Yeah, Kyle. Yep. Um, I've had a look at the job, right? Hmm. I can do this for you for about five and a half thousand. Right, could you lower the price if I gave you the first lot of wheels for free? The straw wheels? Uh, yeah, I'll, let's say three for doing this job. Right, three and I'll give you every bale of this field. Of this field? Yep. Right, yeah, I'll do it for three. I'll, no, actually, see you should be being generous to give me all the bales. I'll, I'll do you for two. I'll do you for two. Well, that's a deal. You've got a deal. See, after you're done, uh -huh. you end up making a bit of a track in right here. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that for you. Right, yes. uh, just at the end of the... Well, we've still got about ten minutes on the vlog camera reel here. So, I'm thinking, let's go back to my farm, and then we'll, um, we'll bring yeah, all the we'll, equipment here. Yeah, we can maybe... Well, you know, to start at the end of maybe make a two-day vlog, like, a vlog by the same day if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. No, just either. Because it isn't actually that late in the day. No, maybe do. Maybe that was quite quick job this morning, so... And I'll take you back a little bit. We'll stop at eight years. Okay. Yeah, yeah um, I'll just okay. see. Hopefully that guy's taken the forager. I hope he has. Yeah, he has. He has. Because he basically makes that... I've got, um, what was it buddy? I told him I'm going to the case. Yeah. He's trying, to find, he's trying to see what the best deal he can do is on that, and he made a new phone to say the forager was away. Right, okay, got you. That's it, because he obviously you said I was with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you don't mind, like, see, next time you meet up with that guy or he texts you, right? you don't men mind mentioning the stare to him? Yeah, kind of. See what he thinks about that because if I could sell that off, it probably it would bring in some much needed money and it's just sitting there, just not doing much, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, so John did in New Holland do most of the work, so. Yeah, and then you've got your weapons and trash, so that's. Yeah, and the stair. And then you've got the fork with a load of lime trees, and stuff, so. And the green lorries, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, I'm also looking to see if you ever find a can grab or something. Can grab, yeah. Yeah, for stacking the bales. Yeah. Uh, if you ever find one, give me a phone because I'm like looking for one of them. So when you give me the drawing, just come and get it from you and stack it in my shit. Well, I can bring it to you. Yeah, I know, but for unload it, it'd be quite handy to have a can grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, probably I want to sell them as well. Mm hmm. And then I can load it. Yeah. See, I'm looking at uh, um, Manitou. Yeah? So, let's see. Luna Manitou, yeah, that's actually quite nice machines, those. Yeah, so I might buy Manitou. If I buy Manitou, then, see, it depends how much money I make off this case. Make plenty, I'll just. Be cameras? <laughs> I'll just <laughs> make plenty money, I'll just buy a, maybe a second half for it. Yeah. Uh, would you buy, if you were going to buy a Manitou, would you buy like the articulated one in the middle or just the drivable one? No, I can say, can say pews. Yeah, I, to be honest, I like the drivable ones, like the one like mine, the better than the articulated ones because they're so hard to get in and out stuff. Yeah, no, so, yeah. But eventually if I ever buy like another farm or ever build another cattle shed at a different location. Yeah. I've got my eye set on, where is it? Let me find it for you. Oh, it's not in there. I've got my eye set on, like, the other kind of JCB. Oh, yeah, you can now articulate them. Yeah. Even though I don't like them, I might go for that just to stick with the JCB brand. Yeah, I mean, as much as you're getting, you'll probably get it cheaper as well. Yeah. Right, Plus, there is a JCB dealer moving into this area, so. Yeah, I'm ready to save it for the mana. The mana too, like. Yeah. So yeah, maybe you can find a, a Kramer forklift because it's John Deere bought my car in there, so I'll get it cheap. Yeah, Kramer, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know if there's any 
There's, there's people with ma masses in this area, but the massive fall off I don't really like. No, I Yeah, I've got to admit. The JCB I've got is decent. Yeah, I'll see you, bro. I'm going to see you, bro. Yeah. That field cut well, eh? Yeah. Okay, we're back at the farm. Did you ever go in to see the BGA and have a look at the what the? No, I need to do that something. I've not done it yet. All right, if you just let me out here, I'll go in. If you just hook my plow on, if you can see this, like in the little like shed there. Like you should be able to see it's like just in yeah, yeah right. Okay. Uh, well right. Mm. Well, no, uh. That shit won't be in there next year. Uh it's just yeah. in there because it was out of the way. Yeah, and um, I'm just looking for something. I wonder if the shop of one of these. I'm just looking. I don't know if they do though. Do they have one of these? Yeah, they do, but it's very expensive. What is it? It's like uh, it's a rake for like raking up concrete and stuff. That is very very expensive. I probably only need the bucket way now, wait a second. Oops, put the bucket on the end. Think so far, pal. It's uh, yeah, tip, tip, tip it up now. Just tip it up. You don't want to know. No, like, fuck it. Turn your back up. Turn your back up. No, 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 no. They were in a minute ago. These forks. Yeah, no, hold on, hold on. Here, turn around, right, pick them up, come out from this angle, go just over the bucket and drop them. Hmm. Yeah, watch the John Deere. The John Deere sits there and doesn't get really used, but we see when the cows come in, oh my god. When you date your cows? Yeah, well, they're basically at the dealership, I just need to go pick them up. Perfect, uh, up. This bucket, this, this, these four pallets. They're cursed. They try to push them up against the concrete wall, that might help. Oh, there we go, There we go, good. Oh, 
Forks. Come on. Right. They're, 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 they're there. Yeah, there. But there, you're good. Perfect. Right, I'll go put the ramps up. A headlock. <laughs> I'll put some chains on this. There we go. There, get the chucks in. There. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, it is, Sam. You know how? Because I had to go to cart them two trailers for it. We had to get them recorded. You got it at the front one? Yeah. What we'll do is we'll get there and then we'll probably end the vlog. Then we'll go have some lunch and then we'll just probably yeah. do like another vlog, like in our episode. Yeah, because it's hell, right? Like this. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's like just about lunch time. It's like 11 o'clock. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this John Deere up to Kyle's, and then next episode we're gonna cart away all the rubble from when I've been knocking down these buildings. These buildings are quite tough, so we're gonna have to get all this rubble carted away somewhere. I don't know where, but there'll be a few trails of it. Yeah, so we'll get it done. Pay Kyle two thousand. He's gonna pay me two thousand for this, and then I get all the straw free for the first. Off the field, so that'll oh, actually be really decent. I mean, get that for free. Then I can start making manure and getting a dung spreader maybe on order. That would be really decent. If I can get a dung spreader on order though, that'll be absolutely brilliant. But not oh, there's Kyle. I'm last up in this one. Pulling nicely, this. That's all right. You had to do some business. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> happens in farming, happens in farming. So when we get up to this place, we'll end the vlog, because we're a bit past the time, but it's fine. I'm past you, by the way. Like, I literally passed you, like, two minutes ago, maybe. Taking care of some business about the fort lift inquiry or something. Yeah, I have to look into that. Um, we're on for a sale, so I don't know. I have not sure yet. I'm not just being the end of it. Yeah, you need to really sell your case first. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the case first. Just going through the bridge. Yeah, I'm just going over the under the railway bridge. Okay. 
I should really catch up with you because you were 40 more. Yeah, and I'm also towing two trailers. I want to catch up with you. Oh, yeah, I'll probably catch up with me now. There's a massive failure. Yeah, my kilometers are dropping now, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Four oh, left ways. I'm catching up. Four left ways a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm catching up so much. Are you just crawling up that hill? Yeah, I'm, I pulled like a seven ton forklift and a, like a, a 14 ton trailer and a 10 ton load loader, maybe. Well, not a 4 ton load loader. Yeah, but well, you should put up a case and you should take the plow. That's uh, alright. Tractor needs to learn it. I could have put it on the new home, but you know. John Deere needs to learn. Oh, they probably still build a bit in the hall. Mm-hmm. Am I in front of you? Yeah, it continues to drive in the wrong lane. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, think I can't see. Charlotte's seen the very. Have fun getting up here, son. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode. I might start cutting my grass field. Yeah, because I, I'll literally be right in your grass field anyway, so. Yeah, that'd be a good job you could do while I'm actually busy at the thing. Because I've caught up with it on the farm, it's just when that other alfalfa comes, that's going to be a big job. If you just take it off, maybe like sitting on the road or something. Oh, I know. Five kilometers an hour. Eventually I might get the engine upgraded and let's put turbo on it. There we go. So it's only the 6810, you get the 6810 chip super apparently it's called. Oh yeah, this could be interesting. Yeah, you're not getting out of here, Sam. Take your trailers apart and I'll come up and get your clothes on. You do take your trailer. Don't come in yet, don't turn down yet, don't turn down yet. Don't go hold it, do that. I'm coming. <laughs> that turning, man. Back <laughs> wheels off the ground. Yeah, th this tractor needs new brakes. Well, it's not really new brakes, actually, because the back wheels come off. Yeah. So I've got 50k At some point, you should get this road, like, redone. Yeah, I will do, I think, actually. If I'm getting building up to I'll see. Okay, if you want, I could get a bit of this, I could rip out a bit of this fence if you want. Uh, you getting in that gate? Yeah. It's just so a bit, it's just a wee bit tight for these big, uh, this big trailer, but, you know. Yeah, no, it's going to be fun with a green trailer, actually. No, nah, it's, it's not too bad. You need to make sure um crop destruction if you know what I mean, girl. Yeah, no, I think it's off. No, I just ran in your crops. Oh, you. I didn't like it just a wee bit. Like I just put my tire on if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's fine. Just try not to do it again. The moment. Yeah, I would just turn it off while I'm doing this. You want to unstrap it, girl? Yeah, hold on. Uh, hold on, what button is it in the cam? I think it's like curl S or something. Curl S. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was... looks like it's worked. Right, I'll hop in the forklift. I'll take this off and then you want to reverse it down next to the John Deere. Yeah, that was my plan. Then we'll end this vlog. And we'll probably come back later in the day. We'll get a beverage. Yeah. I'll on take off the trailer if you want. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. So, in the next episode, we're going to be tearing down these barns and getting this back into the field for Kyle. Yep. So, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Okie dokie.